Nicely played. Caress that nicely through the gap to the boundary. A boundary last delivery. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? Yeah, yeah. Solid shot, going for four. Doesn't even wait to see if the ball's going to do anything. Onto the front foot, punches it away to the boundary. Graham has gotten the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Didn't hit that well. Very late playing that shot. Wait on. Collects that one simple as you like inside the ring. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot and couldn't find a gap. Well, not a great delivery, got it full. Lucky not to be hit to the boundary. End of the over, eight run. Richards from the press box end. Nice shot. You give that much width and you are asking for trouble. That was so well timed, it flew over the boundary. I don't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. Just need to keep getting the ball in the right spots Ooh. and the reward will come. Oh. Misses everything. Just threw the shot too early. Yeah. Too good. That is huge. Well, that was just textbook. Finds the space and power to lift that ball over the top and it just keeps going. I'd like to see them aim for top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Yeah. Beautifully timed shot. Nice running, making it look easy. Wait. Straight to the fielder. Atapatu shakes their head. It was there to hit, couldn't make the most of it. Wow, that's missed the lot. Well, that's a wild one. Nothing elegant about that shot, just not timing it at all. Poor play. That win never looked in doubt from very early in the match. It's been a great performance and a deserved win.
We should be playing better out there. Hello everyone, this afternoon we're at Docklands Stadium. You join us for this big bash match between the Melbourne Renegades and the Melbourne Stars. I'm Mel Jones and alongside me today is Michael Atherton, Ian Healy and England's very own Ali Mitchell. Hi Mel, looking forward to this one, it should be a cracking game. So I've been considering what the captains might decide at the toss, taking into account the weather and the pitch. And I'd be very keen to bat first the conditions of the pitch point towards a fabulous surface for batting. As we get a bit more wear in it, it might become better for the bowlers. Having to chase a big total isn't going to be easy. Very cloudy, but any rain that's around is going to miss us. Wonderful insight there from Ali Mitchell. We go out to the middle now. Big decision coming up. The decision is really putting a lot of trust in your bowlers doing a clinical job early on. The expectation is that the pitch will have some movement as the day progresses, but will too many runs be scored before that? Richards into the attack now from the university end. Yes! Bowlers in! Into the gap and it's an easy single there. Driven off the front foot, fantastic cricket shot, probably expected more there. That's great fielding. The ball was flying. No pressure on that run. Yep. That's too easy to pick up a single. Quick on to that in the infield. Well, not a great delivery, got it full. Lucky not to be hit to the boundary. Yes. Middled that one, great timing. Well, that was a very solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot and that raced away for four.
That's the end of our broadcast for now. Hope you've enjoyed the match and join us again real soon. Good evening, everyone. You join us for this match between the Perth Scorchers and the Melbourne Renegades. I'm Mel Jones, and with me for this exciting contest is Michael Atherton, Ian Healy, and English superstar Ali Mitchell. Thank you, Mel. We're just about ready to get underway. So I've been considering what the captains might decide at the toss, taking into account the weather and the pitch. And you'll be looking at plenty of runs on this pitch, not much fun for the bowlers. Something that shouldn't cause any problems is the weather absolutely stunning out there perfect for cricket not a cloud in the sky and no threat of rain anytime soon brilliant work there from ali mitchell we go out to the middle now big decision coming up So the captain chooses to have a bowl. Interesting decision. Every indication shows that this should be a great surface to bat on. Maybe they know something we don't. The right armour is coming into the attack from the northern end. Brilliant shot. That's for the crowd. Hit that one on the up. A fabulous drive for six. Moving the scoring rate along after that last shot, their intentions are clear for this innings. Yep. Through the gap, great shot. You just can't hit it any better than that. Beautiful shot, no chance at all for the fielders. Richards shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots. Just need to tighten their areas now. Finds the edge. A little late on that. No run scored. Let's see if they can get the ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial to follow up that last delivery right and keep the batter under pressure. Well, not a great delivery. Got it full. Lucky not to be hit to the boundary.
does very well to quickly get across to this one. Piparo shakes their head. It was there to hit, couldn't make the most of it. Wait. Didn't hit that well, very late playing that shot. A good over there, the Scorchers picking up 10 runs from it. That's the end of our broadcast for now. Hope you've enjoyed the match and join us again real soon. Hello everyone, this afternoon we're coming to you from Blundstone Arena. You join us for this match between the Hobart Hurricanes and the Melbourne Renegades. I'm Mel Jones and with me for this exciting contest is Michael Atherton, Ian Healy and Ali Mitchell. Thanks Mel, it's great to be here for this match. I'm sure we'll be treated to a spectacular contest. I've been down in the middle to take a look at the pitch and the weather conditions and the surface has been prepared beautifully. Something for everyone. I'd say it's worth getting at the batters with the ball first though. The weather conditions are perfect for cricket. Absolutely no threat of any rain. Wonderful insight there from Ali Mitchell. Let's join them down in the middle to find out who'll be batting first. It might have been a better toss to lose. Bowling first, though, I think will be the best choice in the end. There's going to be a little bit in this pitch for a possible early breakthrough.
Richards, the spinner, coming into the attack. Clean strike. The fielder can only watch it go over their heads. Huge six. Well, that was just textbook. Finds the space and power to lift that ball over the top, and it just keeps going. Richards shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots. Just need to tighten their areas now. Through the gap. Great shot. Picks up 50 with that shot, a great way to start their innings. Now's the time to push on. That shot brings up 50, raises the bats and appreciation from the fans in the crowd. Waiting. Straight to the fielder. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot and couldn't find a gap. Absolutely middled that. Well, enough leverage there to get a good swing of the arms under it to get it over the rope. Tried for something a bit different last delivery, and the captain shouldn't mind that. If they get it right, they might just get the wicket. Huge! That's flown! Just missed the line. Not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watched that in awe. Can't afford to go too full again. It helps to switch up your deliveries just to keep them guessing. Cuts that off well in the field. Priest shakes their head. It was there to hit, didn't make the most of it. That always looked like a total that'd be tough to defend. They'd have hoped to have put up more of a fight.
Good afternoon and welcome to Docklands Stadium. You join us for this big bash match between the Melbourne Renegades and the Brisbane Heat. I'm Mel Jones and joining me for what should be an exciting contest is Michael Atherton, Ian Healy and English superstar Ali Mitchell. Thanks for having me, Mel. It's always lovely to hear your voice. Earlier, I took a look at what we can expect from the day's conditions and you'll be looking at plenty of runs on this pitch. Not much fun for the bowlers. Something that shouldn't cause any problems is the weather. Absolutely stunning out there. Perfect for cricket, not a cloud in the sky and no threat of rain anytime soon. Great work, Ali. We go out to the middle now. Big decision coming up. No surprises there. Batting first was the most logical choice. It's an even surface and one that should yield plenty of runs. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Yep. Clean strike. The fielder can only watch it go over their heads. Huge six. Showing that they mean business this innings. Barely seem to have got going and they're hitting sixes. I'd like to see them aim for top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Quick onto that in the infield. Well, not a great delivery. Got it full. Lucky not to be hit to the boundary. Yep. Great shot. At least one on offer. No pressure on that run. Too full, and it's easy pickings for the batter. A poor delivery, and you don't pass up chances like that. Crashed away for four. Boundary last ball. What's to come this delivery, I wonder? 